Might we praise God by the top of our hands this morning. So we all stand to receive the family. Lord, thou hast been. In the morning, it flourishes. 
and grows up. In the evening, it is cut down and withered. But we are consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy soul. O satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Let thy word appear unto thy souls and thy glory unto the truth. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Oh, 
Everybody ought to say amen. The choir say he's already here. How do you know he's here? Matter of fact, he rode with me in my car today. And, 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 and the reason I know he's here is because where two or three gather in his name, he says, I'll show up. Now, I see more than two or three of y'all in here. Now, how many of you came in his name? Since we are here, we're going to celebrate life and we're going to give God some praise. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Nova. Thank you. That's quiet. We're going to have our Old Testament scripture lesson. At this hour, we're going to have uh, books. I'm sorry, Sister Laura Staten. I'm going to ask Laura to come and share the Old Testament scripture lesson. And then after that, we're going to ask the uh, uh, Pastor uh, Jesse Butler to come. And uh, she's the, uh, the pastor of the Power to Live Community Church in Pemberton, New Jersey. Amen. 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 In that order. Let's receive them by saying, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Here to read Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me into the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely, goodness, surely, goodness, surely. shall follow me all the days, all the days of our life, of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The word of our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Sister Laura. Thank you, Pastor Butler, for sharing the word of God, for the word of God. It's prayer.
and we here at Rock Hill, every Sunday, we are reminded that prayer changes things. Amen. Uh, we are reminded that prayer still works. Yes, and we're going to continue to pray until we break through. Amen. So I'm going to call on Brother Charles Neal, Charles in the house. We met him yesterday, and uh, I found out that he's the uncle of Andre, and I just call him Uncle Charles. Uncle Charles, <laughs> Uncle Charles is going to come and lead us to the door of the year or the year. Let the church say amen. amen. This is a glorious occasion right now. As much as sad as we had, I know my God, my God, has brought us together. Andre has brought us together. I will say this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Father God. Thank you for this homecoming, Father God. God, be over us, Father God. The families, like I said, I met my brother for the first time yesterday and felt like I knew him for 30 years. And that's what God does to us. He brings us together. The family, Father God, keep them safe, Father God. Keep their minds straight. Keep Candace's mind straight, Father God. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Keep the children, Father God. Keep them on the straight and narrow path, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you do for us. Let them know when everybody leaves and goes home that you're still with them. You will never leave them, Father God. You will be them when they walk to school, Father God. You'll be them when they come home. You'll be with kids when she goes to work, Father God, because it's all you, Father God. We can't doubt what you do, Father God. Oh, yeah. I want to say, I want to do this for the young people, then I'll have my seat. Pastor. Father, bless your children, and don't let them fall by the side of the road, and teach them. Daddy said, you know who the pastor is, right? 
I told her, I'll check with the pastor. <laughs> see what the pastor said. The pastor said it was all right. And so she requested it today. She's been hearing Deacon Norbert sing many, many times in many, many years. And she asked Deacon Norbert Lee if he would sing one of her favorite songs. So I'm going to call on Deacon Norbert Lee and ask him to come and sing for Candace and her family. Deacon Norbert, come on. Let's receive an open by saying amen. amen. Come on, come on, hands on the 
glad he said, I won't complain. You know, I meet folk all around. And they love that song. I won't complain. And I found out that's all they do. I don't want you to tell no stories in this today, but would you, would you look at your neighbor and say, I won't complain? I won't complain. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Amen. It got good, didn't it? Amen. Thank you, Deacon Noble. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. For sharing that with us today, I won't complain. We're going to pause at this time, and we're going to have our acknowledgments by our church clerk, Deacon George Archer. Let's receive Deacon Archer by saying, Amen. Amen. Sister Stacey said, please don't read a whole lot of stuff. I ain't gonna read a whole lot of stuff. Read some stuff. From the Rock Hill Baptist Church. There, are, there is a word from the Lord. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. That's from John 10, verse 9. He has taken family, other family members, and friends. We greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Rock Hill Baptist Church family joins you this day in remembrance of your loved one, Brother Andre S. Dre Staten. Andre has constantly been in our prayers, and now we offer our deepest sympathy as we join him, celebrating his life and his triumphant homeborn. Because of the love and spiritual connection that we have for the Staten Knight family, we feel the hurt and loss also. We pray that the Lord will strengthen and comfort each of you as you deal with your loss. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. And today is the first day of the rest of your life. Your revival renewal starts today. Live in this moment knowing that your help is on the way. So relatives and friends do not despair. We know that your hearts are heavy right now. Be assured that God will sustain you. He will bring peace to your souls, and he will in time bring you the comfort that only he can give. We are praying that you will continue to trust in the one true God for your deliverance. May the Lord bless you all. This letter is ordered by the Rock Hill Baptist Church, where Lord Filthy Nicene is our pastor. From the Providence Baptist Church, 
15901 Providence Road in Prince George, Virginia. To the family of Mr. Andre S. Staten, we, the Providence Baptist Church family, send our love and condolences to Mrs. Arlene Barkley slash Knight family and the Staten family during this challenging time. We commend you to the capable hands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God's word reminds us in Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. We celebrate with you the life of Mr. Andre Staten. Know that death is not an end, but a transition to a place free of all sorrow and pain. The word of God reminds us in Revelation 21, 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. As you walk through this valley of the shadow of death, be reminded that to all who believe in Jesus Christ, this is not good. Bye. But in God's time, we shall be together again. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Faithfully submitted, Providence Baptist Church, Prince George, Virginia, Brian A. Walker Sr. is the pastor. Now, I said I wouldn't read a lot, but I have a representative card I would like to read. For all the cards that the family may have got, I would use this as a representative card. To the family, we're thinking of you. There are times when the right words just don't exist. We hope that it will help you a little to know how much we are thinking of you and how much we care. This is from the right here to the family. I want to share words of thanks from the family, a special thanks to the right here Baptist Church family and friends near and far for your love and support during this difficult time. To Andre's medical team, Dr. Amanda Bailey, Richmond Surgical Group, Dr. Kirby Shaw, um, Virginia Cancer Institute, Dr. Leopoldo, Leopoldo Fernandez, VCU Medical Team, and VCU Health Hospice at Home, Bayala. Thank you for providing excellent care to Dre during this time of illness. We appreciate your prayers, kindness, and love. You have been a blessing to us, and we are forever grateful. The Spade family. Although he was different things to different people husband, father, son, brother there's one thing he was to all of us free. I thank you for your attention. Let the church amen again. Amen. 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 Be certainly thank you, Deacon Nancho, for bringing to us uh, the acknowledgments at this time. Uh, let me pause and say, uh, as I look and scan the congregation, my heart is overwhelmed because out of all the places that you all could have gone today. You took the time to come and be with our family on today. And on behalf of our family, we say thank you. Because the ministry of your presence makes a difference. And, and, and oftentimes we use the phrase you took time out of your busy schedules to come and some of y'all ain't that busy today anyway so <laughs> you just glad you came you know, you know, the soap operas were weak today amen but we thank God for you today we really do thank you for the ministry of your presence on today and uh I see people from all over uh, the city of Richmond and the uh, surrounding community. Uh, we got folk here from New Jersey. 
in the house. Uh, we got to put down in Greenville. Is it Greenville, North Cadillac? I'm sorry, North Carolina. <laughs> North Carolina is in the house. Uh, we got some folk from uh, Connecticut. Is in the house? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm so glad UConn won. Yeah. Did they win? Yeah. 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 That, that was one of the uh, greatest uh, favorite teams. And man, you sitting there watching UConn and you wanted them to win. And I'm so glad in his spirit uh, to know that they did win. Amen. Uh, some uh, some folks here from Petersburg. It's a long way from here. Petersburg. <laughs> Petersburg right now. now I don't know where everybody is. Somebody from somewhere else. Somebody say Atlanta. Atlanta in the house. Okay. Where, where is y'all from? Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm sorry. Philadelphia in the house. Anybody else? Amen. Amen. All right. So we, we got we got some folk that, that that's been designated to come and share uh, uh, a couple of some words of encouragement to the family. And uh, I have a list of this somewhere. I don't I don't lost my list. Amen. Andre is there? Andre Bush. Okay. The two names came to so we all just go and talk. Come on here. Right? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. She hold it down. I got it somewhere. Amen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. These are Andre's best, some of his best friends from all the way here from the local. I really got a lot to 
to say, but there ain't enough time to say it. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, I've been rocking with Drake since I was 23, 42 now. Um, he taught me a lot. He took me from the streets when I was out there wild. And, just like a father figure, I can't even call him a brother, because he's just like a father figure, you know what I'm saying? He just he held me down, he taught me a lot. I met him when we was working on apartments. I ain't know nothing about fixing nothing, but he showed me, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then he liked to do beats, so he convinced me to be a rapper, but that didn't work. But, <laughs> <laughs> they went on ahead and did what we did. But, um, man, I just want to let him know that, you know, I appreciate him. So tomorrow I never met you. I'm sorry we had to leave like this, but it was a blessing in my life. It definitely changed my life. It made me a better man. I got a family, kids, house, cars.
and that I pray God's blessings on you in the comfort of God that he will reveal to you even more. Um, the days are going to come, you know, and, and it is okay. Don't ever let anyone tell you how to grieve, but go through your process. You know, I, um, I came down here, um, came home because I love you. And I put on all these hot clothes. And, <laughs> and, 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 and this collar that's about to come off. And, 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 and just to say that I love you. And y'all know it's okay to laugh in church. Right? Yes. I, I came to tell you that I love you. I'm praying for you. To the mother, to the, to the children, to a brother, best friends. All of y'all. The peace of God be with you. Yeah. And allow God to massage your hearts and let you know that there's not a day that he's not with you. I love you. Blessings be to you, Jesus. Thank you, Elder Kelly, for sharing those words of encouragement with us today. And uh, he did mention that uh, his mother is here and his father is also here today as well. And uh, we're just glad to have uh, the family together today. We're glad to have the family together. Uh, Candice had another request, and uh, I passed it on. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to the choir now. And uh, Sister Nini, I don't know if you got the word. Let me call it. Candice asked for you. You got the word? No, I didn't, but. Okay. <laughs> 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 Candice wants a certain song uh, for me to share with her at this time. She wants me uh, to sing, I'm safe yeah. in his arms. How many know that you're safe in his arms? In his arms.
you know that you're safe in the arms of Jesus. It's good to know that after everything subsides on this side, that we are safe in the arms of Jesus. Thank you, Sister Nene. Thank you, Mass Choir. Thank our ushers. We thank you, Rakhia, for all that you have done in this time of bereavement. Uh, there is a word from the Lord. And before we do the word, I have another request. And I'm going to do it for Candace. Candace wants. Candace gets. On today. That's it. Amen. Candace and PJ have been traveling with us for many years up and down the highways and the byways, the back roads, dirt streets, and no lights in the, in the country. They've been with us for many years and I think she know every song that's in my repertoire. <laughs> but, they, but there's one song that she asks for today which is relevant to what I witnessed on a few days ago when the moon and the sun Folk on the news try to take credit for it. But you can't take credit for creation. That's God's business. All they could do was report it. And so when I looked at it on the television, I saw how, how dark it got in certain areas. And even in Virginia, it, it didn't get real dark, but I could tell something was happening in the atmosphere. God was moving in a mysterious way. And so when Candace asked me about the song that I'm going to share with you now, I'm just reminded that there is somebody bigger than you and I. And that's who we're depending on now to carry us through somebody bigger than and you and I. We're going to share that with you, then after that, we, there is a word. the 
songs for the Robin Singh. Who, who said the rain bring this over? Get so dry. Anybody believe that he'll see us? Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come now because it is preaching time. And again, I realize that I cannot preach until you come. Come, Holy Spirit, even if you don't stay but a little while. Hide me behind the cross. Allow your people to see less of me and somehow more of thee. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength. And even my redeemer it is in Jesus' name that we pray, and all the people say, Amen. Amen. For just a few moments, Pastor Butler read earlier in your hearing uh, the 14th chapter of John's Gospel, beginning at verse 1, she says, Let not your heart be true. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. 
If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. But Thomas said, Lord, we, we, we don't know where you go. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I want to talk for just a few moments about Jesus is the answer. Would you, would you whisper that to your neighbor? Jesus is the answer. Again, our family circle has been broken. God has called Andre S. Staten from labor to reward. The Bible reminds us and the Bible teaches us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 and following, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. There's a time to be born, and yes, there is a time to die. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 also reminds us, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Paul Tillich reminds us about what time is. Paul Tillich says, time is our destiny. Time is our hope. Time is the mirror in which we see eternity. The time that we have on this earth is in God's hands. And how you spend your time on this earth is in your hands. We thank God for Andre State. We pause now and we celebrate not only his passing, but we celebrate his living. Well, I, can I tell you something I know? Not what I heard. Dre is one who loved the Lord. One who loved his family. He loved his friends. And everybody in here today showed up not only because he loved you, but because you loved him. And that's what this is really all about. Love ye one another as I have loved you. You ask the question, what love got to do with it? It's a question that we ask sometimes. What love got to do with it? Love got everything to do. We got folk Talk about I love you. <laughs> and what do you speak to? I love you. Matter of fact, I'm going to start something in here today. I'm going to whisper to your neighbor, I love you. I hope there's somebody you can't stand. can't make it to heaven without loving one another. Come on, I'm, so I, I, I'm on my way to heaven anyhow. You know, you can't get to heaven anyhow. You got to first of all, say how to love ye one another. As 
I reflect back on our times together. We talked about many things. Uh, we talked about some spiritual things. And what we talked about is between me, Dre, and God. And, and, but, but, but what I'm so happy about is that there were times I could take him to his appointment. Right. And that's a good time for a son-in-law and father-in-law to talk. Amen. I mean really talk. And, 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 and the one thing about it, I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, I can tell you, that he had a relationship with God. <laughs> see, 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 folk like to look at other folk and point fingers at other folk. He may not have been in church every Sunday. And some folk who come every Sunday. Filling the blanks. <laughs> he may not have come every Sunday, but, but he had a relationship with God. See, God knows our hearts, and he knows our hearts' desires. Yeah, 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 he knew the Lord, and, 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 and as a preacher, sometimes you know, I'm always saying preacher stuff. And I said, well, all I want to know is, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? He said, yes. yes. And the Bible tells us, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Place, case closed. How many saved folk I'm preaching to today? How many, how many know you're saved? And if you don't know you're saved today, I'll be waiting for you after service. We can talk about it. Because time is winding up. If you don't think it's winding up, look in the mirror. 38 years ago, 40 years ago or so, I was standing behind this sacred desk. My hair was all black. <laughs> and what's left of it? It ain't black no more. That's a sign. How many of you used to can run real fast? <laughs> How many moving real slow? Your house in order. It's not how you just come sit in the church, it's how you have the church in you. Do me a favor, tell you never get your house in order. Get your house in order.
at home. And when I went there, he was in his place. How many of you got a, a special place in your house you sit on Sunday at the church? You only got no house. <laughs> 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 Somebody. I'm gonna do that again. How many got a favorite spot that you sit at home? I ain't gonna ask what you do at the spot. I'm just talking about what you do at the place. And he would sit there, especially football season. Oh, he would have his spot. And I would come in, and he would say, Come on in, Dad. Come on in. And, and, and in our family, in football season, all the fellows have a team. Uh, PJ's team was Atlanta Falcons. All right. All right. Trey, Minnesota Vikings. All right. Bryce, like Cincinnati Bengals. And how about them Cowboys? And it's there. The Panthers down in North Carolina. So, so we got together and we talked about football. And, 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 and at our parties, we didn't, we had Pepsis. I'm going to leave you all alone. But like Corey just said, well, it's good sometimes to laugh in the church. Now, come on now, some folks come to church so holy. You can see where it's full. Come on now. Can I keep it real up in here? Holiness is not just in a look. Holiness is in an attitude, how you treat one another. And if you shout, it's how straight you come down after you shout. So, 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 so everybody in here want to thank God for life. Thank God for Dwayne. We're going to miss him. We're going to miss his cooking on the grill. That brother could cook. God when he cooks something, every now and then he'll call. Got some ribs. You want to come over? Before he hung up, I was there. <laughs> it got good. <laughs> I told you God put people in place. <laughs> I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Uh, and you put people in place to help you along the way. But the truth of it, all of us in here need somebody. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. That's why we gotta learn how to treat each other the right way. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna miss him. He, he could cook on the grill. And all I'm gonna say about that again is hallelujah. Yes. He was a friend. He will be missed by all of us who knew him. But family, I come to ask you today, where do we go from here? What do we do now that our circle has been broken? What do you do when you feel like you don't know what to do? But I come to recommend to you today that when the telephones stop ringing and when the cards stop flowing and the visitation cease to be, I recommend that you have a little talk with Jesus. John says in the 14th chapter of his gospel, he says, 
Let not your heart be troubled. He says you believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus says, in my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. Jesus says, I'm going to make a way for you. That where I am, there you may be also. Well, uh, the question arose, Lord, we don't know where you're going. And how can we know the way? Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. So I tell you today, as we close here, there are some things that I do not know. Sometimes folks ask, Pastor, what do you know about this? Or what do you know about that? Well, some things I just don't know, but there are some things I do know. You see, I don't know the mysteries of life, but I know who can solve your mysteries. I don't know the eight rocks, but I do know the rock of ages. I don't know the biology of a flower, but I do know the lily of the valley. I don't know the chemistry of a flower, but I met the rose of Sharon. I don't know what the end will be, but I do know who I'll meet in the end. I don't know what tomorrow gonna bring, but I do know who gonna bring tomorrow. He walks with me, he talks with me, and every now and then he tells me that I am and the joy we share as we tarry there. None of us has ever known, has ever known. I come to tell you today, Candace, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. How we know God will see you through. Somebody over here, God will take care of you. God will, He will take care of you. Hold on a little while longer because help is on the way. Matter of fact, it's already here. Thank y'all for coming. I'm going to give me a seat. Let me see. I just want to tell you one more thing. Well, can't nobody do me like Jesus.
what we're going to do, we're going to get it ready for the party. Let me teach you my praise then, since you since y'all here from Connecticut, New Jersey, North Carolina. Since y'all from everywhere, y'all know how to party, but I'm going to teach you my praise then while you're here. Now this is a sign for praise. And if the Lord been good to you, I need you to help me with praise him. Here we go. That's, that's the sound of praise. Oh, yeah. I knew you had a party in you.
God will see this through. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Master Fire. Thank you, Donnie. We take our musicians in the world, we thank you. We got some folks from here all over. Candace, your cousins are here. Your aunts are here. All over the building. And I'm so glad to see all and that Miss Harris, but Chester Career College is in the house. My right school is there. Right. They're in the house. Amen. Amen. Those folks I just called out, would you do me a favor to stand up so I can see you real good? Because I can't see too good where I feel. Some kind of cozy and all the way. My wife's long time friend, all the way from Hampton, Virginia. Gina? Wave your hand, Jimmy. Good to see you. Pleasant Grove in the house. My old time, stop it around. You know, love is as love does. You know, we talk about we love each other. Now it's time to show you love. And you all have done that today. Thank you. These services will conclude at the Sunset Memorial Park down in Chester, Virginia. And uh, maybe some of you will travel, and some of you may not. But if you don't want to travel, we do have a hospitality committee chef, Gary Carter, and his crew. Now, y'all want some good uh, Virginia hospitality. You're in the right place. Now, I know y'all cook in Connecticut. Yes. I know in New but, but <laughs> North Carolina. But when you leave here, then you're going to tell somebody. I've been to Virginia. Amen. And after that, you're going to tell, run and tell that. Amen. Amen. So what are we going to do? But gentlemen, you got any questions for me that you want to help me with? Okay. Uh, so what I want you to do, we're going we're gonna to ask you to stand on your feet. And we're going to bless the food. And then we're going to allow the family and all to go to the fellowship hall. And then we can fellowship over there. And for those who are going to travel with us, uh, the funeral home will give us instructions. Amen. Do me a favor one more time, just in case you forgot. Tell your neighbor, I love you. I love you. You can't do nothing about it. Lift your right hand with me. Lift your right hand with me. <laughs> Father God, we thank you now for the life that you had loaned to us for a little while. We ask, oh God, that you continue to bless the Staten family. Comfort them and let them know that through Christ all things are still possible. We ask our blessings upon the food that has been prepared. And bless the hands that have prepared it, that it may be nourishment for our physical bodies. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us now and forevermore. Let us shout together. Amen. 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 God bless you. See you on the other side. Dr. Johnny Branch, good to see you, man. Calvary, good to see you. We're going to let Dre remains in here till after dinner. So we'll meet you on the other side. Amen.
We have some instructions from the funeral home. We're going to ask everybody to pause where you are. Everybody pause where you are. The funeral home is going to get the family out as soon as they can. So we're going to let the, the, the funeral directors tell us what to do. But then you can continue the fellowship over at the fellowship hall. Amen. Shelton, wave your hand so they know who you are. Shelton, J.M. Wilkins and Funeral, they're going to help us with the crowd. Amen. 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 Amen